Hey guys, uh, okay, today we'll be talking about the inguinal triangle or also called the Hazelbach's triangle. This inguinal or this Hazelbach's uh, triangle, where it is situated, it is situated uh, deep to the posterior wall of the inguinal canal. It is present very deep to the posterior wall of the inguinal canal it is seen on the inner aspect of the lower part of anterior abdominal wall inner aspect of lower part of anterior abdominal wall so now let us see the boundaries of this inguinal triangle so the medial boundary uh, is formed by the lower 5 centimeters of the rectus abdominis muscle like this is the rectus abdominis muscle lower 5 centimeters is forming the medial boundary and laterally the inferior epigastric artery inferior epigastric artery will be forming the lateral boundary as usual inferiorly it is formed by the inguinal ligament and uh, from the umbilicus a ligament uh, comes and intervenes this triangle namely the medial umbilical ligament or also called obliterated umbilical artery which divides this triangle into the medial part and the lateral part this becomes a medial part and that becomes a lateral part this is a complete triangle this becomes medial and this becomes a lateral part so if you see like a convenient diagram like a triangle like this lower 5 centimeters of the rectus abdominis muscle laterally formed by the inferior epigastric artery the bottom inferior one is formed by the inguinal ligament as this medial umbilical ligament is dividing it into the medial part and the lateral part this medial part is actually more strengthened by the conjoint tendon present at its floor if you see here see so this is the medial part right in the floor it is also having the con this is a conjoint tendon so this conjoint tendon will be strengthening this medial part whereas this is the lateral part it doesn't have any sort of a conjoint tendon and anything and therefore becomes a weak or the potential space through which the herniation takes place so what is a common side direct hernias happen uh, via the lateral part of the Hazelbach's triangle okay guys if you like my video please do share with all your friends and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching my video